Hello. Today I'm going to talk about binary numbers and some uh, mathematical uh, functions that you can use with it. Okay, uh, since we're talking about binary numbers, we, I should tell you what exactly are binary numbers. Uh, some people might revert, re refer to them as numbers in base 2. Uh, now, think of uh, numbers that we normally use. We normally use a decimal number system, which is also called base 10. We call it base 10 because we can use 10 different digits. That is 0, 1, 2, all the way up to 9. Binary numbers are in base 2, so they can only represent different values uh, using only two value numbers, 0 and 1. Like I said, they can represent different values, even though they can only use 0 and 1, they can still represent as many numbers as uh, regular numbers do. For example, here, the number 5 would be represented by 1, 0, 1. Now, you might be thinking, exactly why do we use uh, binary numbers in computer science at all? Well, there are a few different reasons. One, they're generally simple to work with. You don't have uh, big uh, number tables. You don't have to uh, use all these di different values to represent something. Uh, generally, it's effective and it's efficient for the computer to solve it. Uh, the, the more important way reason that we use it is because you only need two values to represent uh, different things. Specifically, this applies directly to uh, the voltage or electricity uh, the signals that are uh, done in the, inside the computer. Remember that electrical signals are generally can only be uh, on or off. That means that's two different things it could be. Those two possible values are easily represented in binary. Generally, zero is off and one is on. Okay then. Now the, there are some other uh, terms about binary numbers. There are different ways to use binary numbers to represent something. Unsigned binary integers are what we've been using so far. Uh, that means that the number has been unsigned, and it can represent any binary integer. Uh, that is greater than zero, generally. For example, the number three. Really, any zero, uh, uh, zero or greater. Now, signed binary integers are a little different, uh, because basically you need to have a sign at the front to either call it a positive or a negative number. Uh, so that means the digit at the very front is going to uh, be the sign, and you could use this method to represent either positive 3 or negative 3, which could be useful in programming, or in a computer ar uh, architecture. There are two different uh, complements forms that uh, we're going to talk about. The first is ones, the ones complement form. Uh, both complement forms, well, this is a method to convert a positive binary number to a negative number. The ones complement form is one method, and that's what we're going to show you now. So I converted this number 0010010. Is now converted to 11010101. Now, how exactly did I get that? Well, once complement means that you basically take every uh, binary digit you have and you flip it. You make it the opposite of what it is. So, for the first one is zero, I change that to one. The second one is zero, I change that to one. And if I have one, I change it to zero, and so on. And that's it. That's how the once complement form works. Okay, now the twos complement form. It's very similar to the ones complement, you first do everything you just did in the ones complement form, so you flip all the digits. And then, you have to add 1 to your final number. And that's it. So for example, here I have 00101010. Zero, zero, one, zero, one, uh, zero. If I convert that to ones complement form, I would get 11010101. One, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. But to make it twos complement form, I would add 1 to it. And if you were to add these uh, together, well, if you want to be formal about it, this is how it would look if you're adding them on paper. And there you go. 11010110. One, one, zero, one, zero, one, one, zero. And that's what two co the two's complement form would be. Okay, now we've learned something, let's use it. So we're going to keep talking about signed binary integers. Uh, generally, you would use 8 bits uh, to represent the full number. Uh, you don't want to use uh, just strange a strange number of di digits like 3 or 5 or 6 or 7. Generally 4 or 8 or 12 or 16 are used. So we're going to use 8. Now apply the ones complement form to uh, represent negative 17. How would you do that? Well first find out what positive 17 would be in binary. Now this method has been talked about again in the past video, uh, but you, th these are the steps you would take. And if you do that, you would find the binary number for 17 is 10001. And now we want it to convert it to negative 17. 
Well, remember that we're using 8 bits, so you have to convert it to 8 bits uh, instead of 5. That we're, So you have to add zeros at the front to make sure it's 8 bits. Okay, now we want to use the uh, ones complement process on it. And uh, generally, for assigned values, the leading bit, like I said, is always 0 if it's a positive number or 1 if it's a negative number. So the very first digit is always important to tell you if it's positive or negative. Uh, since our leading uh, number, our, our number we're trying to convert is negative, therefore the, the an easy way to make sure this works is to make sure that the, the very first digit of our final number will be one. So and uh, now you have to apply the ones complement for the rest, and this is what you get: one 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 zero one 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 zero. And that's it. That's negative seventeen using the ones complement form. Now we're going to do this again with the twos complement form. Remember, it's the exactly the same except you have to add one to it. Okay, so that's what we had before. And now we're adding one to it. And this is our two's complement form. One 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 zero one 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 one. And that's it. Good. Now we have some notes for you. Remember the complement form are used to represent negative numbers. The leading digit always indicates whether a binary number is positive or negative. Remember that. Under the complements form, you always need uh, one more than the actual binary uh, bits that you're using for the number, because one of those digits has to represent either positive or negative. And therefore, you, the number of bits you can represent as a signed b uh, binary is usually less than the possible digits you can represent with an unsigned binary. For a positive number, uh, the one's complement is always equal to the two's complement, no matter what you do. Uh, because, well, it's positive. You don't have to convert it to a negative number. Now, there is a problem with the one's complement method. Uh, generally, the two's complement method is always used in computer or, uh, computers nowadays. And here's the problem. If you look in this chart, the numbers look okay until you get to zero. If you look in the one's complement, there is such a thing as a positive zero and a negative zero. Now that's not right. Zero should always be equal to zero. There can't be two versions of it. That's why the two's complement form was uh, made in the first place. If you add one to it, uh, if you were to add one to one 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 or negative zero, then you would get uh, positive uh, zero. So there's only one type of zero in the two's complement. Note that the positive numbers are the same, like I told you they would be. And uh, but they are one off for neg uh, the negative uh, decimals, though. Okay, now we're going to do some uh, math with binary. We'll try to be quick. We can do addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division with normal decimal numbers. And in the same way, we can also do this with binary numbers. So let's see. Now let's suppose we want to add two binary numbers. It's simple. You would add them exactly like you would with uh, normal decimal numbers. Just keep in mind that you're using ones and zeros only. For example, the first one you have 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 1 would be, well, 2, but you can't have 2. So you would have 0, and then you would carry the 1. So you have 1 plus 1 plus 0, which is, okay, 0 again, carry the 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. And then you keep going, and here's your answer. Now, when you're doing math like this, you could check your work by converting it to decimal and seeing that your decimal numbers match up. So this is equal to 182 plus 226, which does indeed equal 408. So we did this right. Now suppose we're doing a ones complement form of addition. Well, we would add them normally, but we have a problem here. Uh, we're using, using ones complement, and we're using only four bits. Now, but the answer has five bits. That's a problem. Uh, that's generally not allowed. In the ones complement uh, uh, method, we usually add one uh, to the number to get rid of this extra bit here. So we cancel the, that bit, we get rid of it, then we add 1 to uh, the other side, and then we get this, 0010. Zero, zero, zero. Now, if you want to check your work, go ahead, and you'll see that it works out. Okay, now we're going to do it with 2's complement form, which is very similar. Now we have the same example here where we have the answer as 5 bits instead of 4. Uh, but how do you fix that in 2's complement? Well, you get rid of the first number, but you don't have to add 1 
because uh, this is the two's complement form. So because you've added one anyway to the negative number, you don't really have to do that again to your fi final value. So that's it. Now, uh, here's uh, there are some special cases with addition. Here's one of them. Uh, and it's true for any, either of the complement forms. Suppose you have... The, uh, these are the, the answer has the same number of bits that the two uh, uh, numbers we are using have. But the final answer is not correct, because remember the first bit is always the use for the sign. So this is not actually positive 9 like we would think of as an unsigned binary. This is actually uh, different. It would actually be... Well, it would be different for e if it was either a 1s or 2s complement, but you get the point. Now, in cases like this, we just say that an overflow occurred, or an error of some, some kind occurred. It's usually up to the computer's architecture to uh, do something with this if the, the, they don't want that answer. Okay, now we're going to do subtraction. Now, computers don't actually uh, subtract necessarily, that they only do addition. But uh, to do a, a subtraction, they add uh, the negative version of the second number. Which ma makes sense. For example, under 1's complement, we, uh, we have this number, 1011, subtract 1010. Now what we would do is, we would take the second number, we would uh, apply the 1's complement to it. We could also do the 2's complement, depending on uh, what your question is asking you to do. And you would get this. Note that now we're actually adding the second number, the opposite of the second number. Now again, we have that extra bit. So since in this case we're doing 1's complement, we're going to add 1 to the end, and that's going to be our answer. Okay, now we're going to do it again with 2's complement. And keep in mind that the values are different in 2's complement than they are in 1's complement. Now note that uh, to convert from 2's complement to the opposite, we would subtract 1 and then flip the digits. We are doing the opposite that we would in 2's complement. So in this case, we uh, actually have to minus 1 from it. You don't. Uh, it's usually uh, relatively easy to do that, so you don't have to do all this work to show it, but I, I think it helps you understand. So anyway, after all that math, we see that we are doing negative 5 minus negative 6. Now, we're going to do the opposite uh, like we did before. That's the same as saying negative 5 plus 6, which in this case comes out to 1, 0, 0, uh, 1, which is now equal to 0, 0, 0, 1 under 2's complement, which is the right answer. Okay, we still have mul multiplication and division to uh, look at. Uh, these are relatively simple. We'll go over it quickly. Now, multiplication is ex almost exactly the same as regular multiplication for uh, normal, where Keep in mind that 0 times any number is always 0. 1 times 1 is 1. And like regular uh, multiplication, you would uh, take one value, you would multiply it with all the numbers, write that out, and then you would move over one space, and then repeat it with the next digit, and then move over a space again, and so on. And you, Then you would add up all the numbers you have there. Now if you want to double check, uh, you can, and I did here. Okay. Okay, now there's division. Again, it's similar. Uh, you just have to keep in, uh, in your mind that we're doing uh, uh, binary numbers. So in this case, 1, 1, does that go into 1, 0? No. Does it go into 1, 0, 1? Yes. Okay, we'll write that down. Okay, now we have written down the 1. Does it go into 1, 0, 1 again? Well, yes. And we keep doing this. Okay, so when we're all done with division, we get the answer of 1, 1, 1 with a remainder of 1, 0. Now, if you want to check this is correct, we can uh, do this in uh, decimal again. This question is qu equivalent to 23 divided by 3, which is uh, equal to 7 with a remainder 2. And that matches with our answer. Okay, you learned a lot today about binary numbers. I'm sorry this was a long video, uh, but... That's mostly all you need to know about binary numbers, and now you should be set to do anything you need to do with them. Thanks for watching.